everyone, I'm back with another video today. Uh, it should be an interesting one actually. So I have my 93 hardtop MR2. This thing is mechanically bone stock and I'm curious how slow it is at the drag strip. Here's a shot of the engine bay just so you can see how stock this car is. It even has the OEM uh, air filter box. The only change I've made to it is put aftermarket wheels on the car. So the car's ready. I already passed tech inspection. I emptied everything out. At this point, it's just a matter of going to staging. Before that though, I would like to set a goal. I'm hoping to get like a 16 second quarter mile anywhere. I'm cool with like a 16.9 and then maybe like a 70, 75 mile per hour uh, trap time uh, or speed correction. Um, it may seem like I'm selling the car a little short. From the factory, it only had 135 horsepower at the crankshaft. You know, after 200 plus thousand miles, probably doesn't even have close to that at the wheels. Maybe 100 on a good day. But uh, yeah, let's get to staging. As usual, I'm actually the next one up in line and uh, I always get super nervous and I really can't explain it. I mean, maybe you other guys that do motorsports can, can relate to that, but it's just like, it's just this heavy feeling, like your heart's gonna sink, but it makes you feel alive. I don't know, I don't know how else to explain that, man. <laughs> Hopefully someone gets what I'm saying. Holy shit, that was way faster than I thought. Um, this car ended up running a 16 second quarter mile, a 16.5 to be exact, at 81 miles an hour. Uh, that is a, it has a lot more get up and go than I initially thought, which is which is awesome. <laughs> yeah, right here's my time for everything. Uh, as expected, my reaction time isn't that great, but that's, that's okay, I'm learning. So uh, time to get back at it. Gonna go back to staging and uh, get another run in. Ooh, that was awesome. I ended up going slower though because I banged rev limiter but my reaction time got significantly better. It went from like a 1.0 something to a 0.665. So it's a step in the right direction. Although before I go out for my next run, I've got to show you guys something. It's actually kind of a warm night. And one of the best things about this car is that the freaking AC works and it blows really cold, which is freaking awesome. Whew, uh, time to go back out for another run. I really hope I, I can improve on my best time of 16.5 and uh, I think it's doable. It's just a matter of, you know, driving good. <laughs> Holy fuck, that's awesome. There's a fucking smart car drag racing. What the fuck? <laughs> Unfortunately, there was a bit of an incident, which means my night's cut short. Um, the track staff are cleaning it up, but I don't really want to wait around, especially when I have like an hour and a half drive back home. Uh, with that being said, I got three solid runs. My fastest was a 16.5 at about 80 miles an hour. So it's pretty stoked on that. I mean, when you think about it, this car is 25 years old, 200 plus thousand miles on it. Um, in addition to that, it only had 135 horsepower from the factory. So um, that was at the crankshaft, by the way. So this thing did fucking awesome. Uh, way better than I could have expected. Got the car all packed. Um, so it's about time to head out of here. Uh, I do appreciate you guys for watching. And as always, if you could like leave a comment, like the video, share it. All of that helps the channel grow. And I really appreciate it. So as always, have a good day.